What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today out on the hard water with some friends. I've got my friend Bridge who fished with my girlfriend and I in our last video. He's over here doing some fishing. And then I got another guy. He made a road trip from the Green Bay area. You guys have seen him on the channel before. I'll come on over, show you what's going on. <laughs> what's going on guys? Cody S. If you while. guys did not know who that is, he used to be with Mindag and he also has his own channel and uh, we do a lot of fishing together. So he made the road trip. He's been already up here for like two hours. I've been kind of just slacking. slacking this morning, not getting up here. But, you know, I show up and the fish are biting. I already caught a few fish on his video. <laughs> and yeah. so now I've decided to make a video for you guys. So yeah, we're up here and we're gonna, we're just gonna see if we can get on some crappies. He probably won't catch any fish for your guys' video. He caught them all for mine. So yeah, look, look, here, here, look, here's one. Yeah, there's yeah, one a nice right one. there. That's a nice crappie. <laughs> we're keeping a couple to put in the frying pan today. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a few back to Green Bay with us. Yeah, you know, that's okay. okay. I'm not gonna, not too many, but I'll I know, let you yeah. do this one time. Oh, I know that, you know, you gotta eat sometimes, right? Right. You know? So yeah, I'm excited. Everybody's out here. Fish are biting, sun is shining. It's a nice day. So we are going to see if we can Get on top of some fish, hopefully some bigger ones. And uh, oh yeah, oh, Bridge just he just caught one. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, just like the last video, catching absolute giants. I like to see it. <laughs> no, but honestly, we've already caught a few that have been that uh, 12 inch range. So looking forward to today. I'm going to put the chest mount on and see if I can catch some fish. So stay tuned, guys. All right, so. Go ahead, grab my rod. I don't even know what plastic is on this. I think this is actually a clam minnow. Uh, we're gonna go just chisel some holes because these guys took all the holes and we're just gonna see if we can get some fish for myself. All right, let's check out the ice. All the holes are taken. One's gonna bring the auger, but did not have time to grab it. So check out, see what the ice is like. Uh, as you guys can tell, there's a decent amount of ice on the lake. Anybody who's worried about northern Wisconsin ice, I'd say don't be worried. It's plenty fine. There you go. There you go. Smoke it. Go. Came in a frame right away. That's Here's a, a nice one. one. Decent little crappie. There are some bigger ones in this lake, but that's a good sign. When you do find them, it seems like they are coming up and hitting it right away so maybe i'll turn it back over to cody i am using his setup i just wanted to see if we could get some fish and uh yeah they're they're here so Let's see if we can get some more okay well not as big as all that work for a dink yeah they're being really weird like they're down there but they're not like a really big school which is weird. Usually when I come out here, it's like, get down and there's like 10 of them just chilling, waiting for you. But it seems like right now you could be down there and not mark absolutely anything. And then all of a sudden you get two or three that just come into frame and they'll hit you right away. They'll climb five, five, six feet up in the water column, which is fine. We're catching fish, but it's just not, not how it normally is here. <laughs> My stuff's just on fire. It's hard. Nick to, can't uh, help it. <laughs> Hard to give the rod back when I'm catching fish. Is it a big one? Oh! Oh! Yeah, oh bigger. Show the old frostbite jig in there. I Look got at a that. Vinyl messed up. There it is. Frostbite jig with a mustache worm. I'm gonna get a release on this guy. There are still some bigger ones, but this is one of the better ones of the day. I'm gonna release it while you're fishing. Hopefully that doesn't screw it up for you, but. All right, I don't have the rod anymore, Cody. So now you gotta pry it away from him. <laughs> Good luck because there's still fish down there. How's it going guys? Little channel takeover here. Cody S takes over MB edits. Yee yee yee. Nick's over here catching some fish. So I'm gonna bring you guys over. Now that I'm here with the camera, they probably won't bite, right? That's kind of how it's been going. Every time we've been trying to record a video, fish are like, oh, they're trying to record and show us. No, I'm not gonna bite, except for this one. This one might. There we go. And it just came off. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming that on the rod. This is all frozen up. I don't even know what's going on here. Dude, you got a ton of fish on the screen. I know. Drop back down, see if I can actually catch one here. Oh, oh, 
He's coming. And I missed him. <laughs> cool. All right, well, luckily there's a lot, so I could <laughs> I could really try to get some in this school here. Got one right on me. There we go. Not too big. My drag's really set low, so that's why that's doing that. <laughs> seems what? like a is there, seems like a northern. Is this not a crappie? No, it is a crappie. It's a, nice crappie it's a nice crappie. Okay, I didn't think that was actually a crappie for a second because it was peeling line. I do have my drag set low, like I was saying, but uh, yeah, they usually don't peel line like that. That's a nice, decent crappie. Biggest one probably of the day for me so far. We've caught some nice ones off camera that you haven't seen, unfortunately, but. Maybe that's a sign, maybe I'm in a big school, so I'm not gonna rush too much with this fish, but I'm gonna get them right back and see if I can get some more here. They're so high up in the water column right now. Yeah, they are. Well, they seem like larger slides are sitting. <laughs> not as big as the last one, but definitely found an aggressive school. As you can see, not, not that big, but nothing better than just getting out and crappie fishing, especially when you can get on a, on a school and they're really, really aggressive. That guy didn't want to go back, really. Hole's kind of slushy. Didn't bring a scoop. That's kind of not a power move, must say. I got one. Yeah, it's way over there, though. So, you know, that's not really helping us there. <laughs> but, big school of crappies. We've been searching around this basin that we're fishing here. It's just a mud flat. And it's a little bit deeper where we're at. I think this hole is like 10 feet, I think. I don't know. There's a lot of marks on my screen, so it's hard to tell. But it's a little bit deeper. It's like a two foot difference between the entire lake. I think the, the lake has a max depth of like 14 feet and the rest of it pretty much like this bay behind me and the bay over there that we walked to get to this is all like six, seven feet. So if you can find like that 14 foot hole, well, that's where all the fish are. I don't even know where bottom, I think this is bottom at 12 and a half feet and these are all fish. This is me way up here. So, well for sure these three are fish. Not interested. Oh, never mind. That's very interested. Very interested. Smaller. Well, I guess you can't get them all big, but it is fun just getting out and getting to school at crappies. Sick. Just an absolute giant. Well, fish are not in the hole anymore. Cody told me that he's leaving. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the heck's wrong with the guy. Well. Catching fish and he's like, oh, I'm out of here, sorry. Caught too many, you know, it was a fun morning though. You I did had fun actually. getting You got a whole bucket full. Yeah, it's funny because last year, the first time I was on ice, I came up here and fished with Nick. And now this year, the first time I was on ice, I came up here and fished with Nick. So now I feel like maybe next year we got to keep the tradition going, maybe. Come up here for your first time again. Probably. <laughs> as long as the fishing keeps producing. The last two years, I mean, this lake has been a lot of fun. The crappies are still here. We're catching the same fish. And like Nick's saying, it's just one big mud flat. And once you find it, you find all the fish. So ton of fun yeah Glad we came once uh he gets ice down in green bay I'm next going, week i'm gonna be coming down there I'm next gonna be week fishing the fox river it's gonna get cold next week fox river is gonna freeze up quick the water's already cold uh there's some skim ice on the upper side of it so it ain't gonna take long for the lower side to freeze up and we'll be catching walleyes in no time guaranteed oh boy big walleye that is extremely exciting so i'm gonna say goodbye to him and uh, we're gonna, me and my friend Bridge, we're gonna stay out here and we're gonna just see if we can catch a few more for you guys. We got pretty much all day to be fishing, but we're gonna not stay too long in crappie fish because we are gonna end up going to a different lake later tonight and film some walleye fishing videos, hopefully. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Hopefully uh, we get into some really big ones. But we're still crappie fishing, so we're gonna keep on pounding away at that. All right, you guys, so you're probably wondering why it's dark out. Well, I've got some explaining to do. So, we did not get into any more crappies. Uh, I said we were gonna get into crappies, we did not get into any more crappies. And then, like I was saying, we went walleye fishing, and I was so distracted in the walleye fishing video that I completely spaced that I had to do an outro for this video. So, I'm home now, I'm doing the outro outside of my house. It was a pretty good walleye fishing day, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that video coming out in the next couple days here. But, crappie fishing was fantastic, actually. A lot of it I did not get to film, unfortunately, and I did have a slow start to the day, but it was awesome fishing with Cody. Again, if you guys wanna check out his channel, I will leave a link 
down in the description we will be doing a ton of fishing together so super excited that he made it up and the fishing was good so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up really appreciate it shows that you guys are enjoying the content that we are bringing for you guys also if you have any comments leave it down below because that's a great way for us to communicate with you guys and answer anything that you need to know from us you know whether it's how we jig where we jig anything i mean it can literally be anything that you guys want to know and we will answer it down below it has been an extremely long day i'm gonna go ahead get inside go to bed but want to wrap this up again if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a like also subscribe we're going to be pumping out the ice fishing videos all winter long super excited so until next time guys tight lines from nb edits